say I am a sound mind and body. Um, sorry, I've talked the coward's way out. Uh, don't go racking your brains and thinking why I would tell you it's anyway. Um, no, woman trouble and nothing like that is I am hurting. I am disguising a lot of pain. I've got rapid rheumatoid arthritis. She's crippling me up, and I'm having to hide the fact that I can't get up downstairs, get in and out of the car. Um, and um, I'm not enjoying it at the moment. Well, that's really it. And I don't want to go and waste having a, a wicked life like I've had. That's <laughs> superb. Any day I can think back on, it was funny and brilliant. And then the rest of it, in pain, trying not to go and end it because it loves everyone else. I'm enjoying it, and I'll do what I want. So that really is, is why I'm not here today. No, don't be sad. Please, don't be sad. Right. I'm sure I left um, enough people in this world to have at least stick up for days. You know what I mean? There's going to be the haters and all that. That's normally what happens. I'll have a million people now writing books. I was in the firm. I shag Dave. I... Whatever, you know, you'll get loads. You know, you'll get, you'll get them trying to diss me. They're not going to, if you can't glamorise crime law, they're not going to allow me to roll into the history books nicely. They'll try and scar me with something. I'll just bring the people up, that's what you'll see. Find the people who queue up and go, Dave crossed me up, or Dave run away and left me, or Dave didn't do the right thing behind the prison door. Find them to make them stand up. You're dying in it. If they had them, they would use them on me to hurt me over the last 30 years. Um, and then that might want to hurt me with this grass thing and that is just something that's already been proved. And you got to realise that I did actually take the police to court after that court case. The very next week, me and um, Martin Blunt, Blunt the um, crime correspondent for Sky and Billy Murray went up and I need to the police for attempted murder of saying, why did you call me a glass when you do one? I need them. So if there's any, somebody should go and check all that out and find out about that. But if there's any um, grievances about that, look it, look it up. If what I had to do to keep that friendship going with that copper, I might be if it, singularly on its own if some things might look suspicious I to do, say, tape, sign bits of paper to keep that friendship going, that friendship kept a hundred of my friends out of prison in the time I was with him. I would do it again. I had to justify why he knew me. I introduced him to actually crime journalist Tony Thompson wrote about him in his book. Uh, you know, you know, I get off of that. You're going to get your ears. So, um, I don't know what they can do while I was alive.